One of the commenters on a previous video that I did said, can you please do a video and talk about kilowatt, kilowatt hour, um, battery storage, all this other stuff, because these are terms that we don't really understand um, because obviously we're all used to, you know, to gasoline vehicles and stuff. So I thought, sure, let's talk about that. Uh, without get, really getting into uh, deep um, electrical theory and stuff, uh, first I want to mention um, these terms like you'll you'll hear terms like voltage, amperage, watts, and the way that, the best way to describe that or to think about it is uh, think of a garden hose. Um, so you can put pressure of the water in the garden hose. That's voltage. The flow of the water that goes through that is amperage or current. And the math is voltage times current equals watts. And the watts is the unit of measure of something of power that can be applied to do some work. So that's basically what that's all about. But when we talk about Tesla vehicles, we're always talking about, you'll hear terms like kilowatt and kilowatt hour. And what's the difference between the two? Um, think of kilowatt is a unit of, of power. Uh, think of it like um, a horsepower in a vehicle. So motors are, are measured in kilowatt. That's how much power that they can, that they can use um, uh, to do work. The battery, on the other hand, is measured in kilowatt hour, and that's the amount of energy that can be stored in the battery pack. So think of that as like a gallon or a liter. So that's basically how that kind of works out. So let's take it a little bit uh, further and compare battery storage to gasoline. Um, so we can do that with some very simple math. Now the first thing we need to understand here, in order to understand the energy potential of gasoline, is that we need to convert it into what batteries um, are measured in, and that's kilowatt hour. And in order to do that, we have to burn it, because after all, that's what a gasoline engine does anyhow. So it turns out we have a unit of measure called a BTU. It stands for British Thermal Unit. And one BTU is the amount of heat energy it takes to raise one pound of water one degree Fahrenheit, or in metric it's 0.45 kilograms of water, 0.56 degrees Celsius. So, as it turns out, we know how much a gallon of gasoline has. It's 114,000 BTU. Well, no wonder it's so popular. So now we, we know how much a gallon of gasoline contains in terms of BTU, or heat thermal energy. Uh, we can do some simple math. Now we also happen to know that uh, one kilowatt hour of energy storage is equivalent to 3,412 BTU. So the simple math is, you take your 114,000 BTUs in a gallon of gasoline, you divide that by 3,412, and you end up with one gallon of gasoline is equivalent to 33.41 kilowatt hours of energy. No wonder it's so popular. In metric, uh, one liter is equivalent to uh, 8.83 kilowatt hours. So. Let's think about that. Um, our good friend Bjorn Nyland in, in uh, Norway had done a recent test on a uh, Tesla Model S 70D, and I'll put a link in the show description. You can watch his video. And he did um, uh, a short distance travel. He did a 100 kilometer travel on his vehicle, that's 60 miles. And he averaged uh, 174 watt hours per kilometer. So if you're going to stretch that out to 100 kilometers, 100 miles, that's 17.4 kilowatt hours worth of energy. So now that we have some simple math, let's put this in perspective. A, let's take a 90 kilowatt hour battery pack in a Model S. Uh, the actual usable amount is about 85 kilowatt hour. So when you do the math and you convert it, uh, an 85 kilowatt hour battery pack is only equivalent to about two and a half gallons of gasoline or about uh, 12 liters of fuel. It's not a lot. So you may be thinking to yourself, well, why would I buy an electric car? Because, of, you know, my gasoline car carries, uh, you know, 15 gallons of gas and I can go this distance and so on and so forth. Well, you have to take into account here that there's efficiencies. Um, a gasoline engine is only about 20% efficient at extracting that energy. The, the rest of it is lost to heat. It goes out the tailpipe along with noxious fumes and toxic fumes and pollution. Uh, an electric motor, on the other hand, is in excess of 80% efficient. So let me give you an example. Um, I just drove uh, to the East Coast and back, Nova Scotia. It was about 5,000 kilometer trip. And the, my Lincoln SUV averaged 9.2 liters of fuel consumed to travel 100 kilometers. Um, that that's, uh, works out to be 81.23 kilowatt hours of energy used to travel 100 kilometers. 
And of course with the Tesla, we just found out that it can do that in 17.4 kilowatt hours on average. These are averages. So you can see that an electric motor is about 4.6 times more efficient than a gasoline engine. And of course it doesn't pollute. So I hope this explains some of the uh, differences between kilowatt, kilowatt hour, and how can you measure that and compare it against a gasoline engine. I hope it informs you. So anyways, thanks for watching and follow us on Twitter at Model 3 Owners and consider joining our forum at Model3OwnersClub.com. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.